Welcome to Annapolis, Maryland, home to gorgeous sailing boats, scrumptious seafood, and of course, the Naval Academy. And if you want to take a peek inside one of the oldest cities in America, this is the place to be. Welcome to the Maryland State House. Construction for the State House started in 1772. It was the state capital starting in 1783. G-Dub was here. This building is a site of the oldest continuing legislative building in the U.S. Some pretty important events happened for our country right here in this state house. And that includes the signing of the Treaty of Paris, which formally ended the Revolutionary War, and the ratification of the Articles of Confederation. That only took 15 times to say. The coolest part is everything in here is free to come and check out because it is for the people by the people. That's right, so if you're in this area, this is a must come through and just kind of walk through history. And of course, if you're anything like Phil, you know, who didn't really want to come, make sure you drag everybody in here because it is definitely worth the visit. It's so crazy, we were just talking about the fact that literally we are walking the halls where George Washington and so many other leaders literally walked on this floor. And they really had a huge impact in where we are today, including this lady right here. This is a statue depicting Harriet Tubman. And I'm telling you, some of these people from back then, if I could just sit down and have a quick conversation with them, although I don't know how quick it would be. This statue is a depiction of Frederick Douglass and a cool fun fact about this statue is his hands are actually molds of his three times great grandson. So that is really cool to know that those hands actually are part of his family. Pubs and restaurants here offer specialties from the Chesapeake Bay. And if you come to the Iron Rooster, you can also get homemade pop tarts. Annapolis has more 18th century structures than any other city in the U.S. And most of these are open to the public or at their museums like the one behind us that has three floors of exhibits. A nice spot to sit and watch people is right here in Ego Alley. And they call it Ego Alley because there's some nice expensive boats that come in here. And of course, you know, when you have a big boat, you have a big ego but it's also fun to just watch them pull in and pull out, which they do here every day. Thank you. Right outside one of the entrances to the Naval Academy is Sophie's Crepes. And we were told by a very good source, it is a place everyone should pop into. Yeah, so if you're in this area, come check them out. We all dream in every color, searching for something bigger. And there's a fire deep inside that's getting ready to ignite. We can believe if we open our eyes. Out from the darkness, we reach for the light. There is no limit, we aim for the sky. No hill we can climb. Our dreams come alive. That's Cleve Summer. So oh. staff wear red shirts and they wear red tags so we know they're Cleves. That voice you heard in the distance is Lori, and she was actually stationed here. She is a retired chief. Come here, Lori. Come on over. So what was your role here? I was a senior enlisted leader for the plebe. So senior enlisted leaders and company officers work together to train the mids. So we have a little behind the scenes tour. We've been lucky to sneak <laughs> into a few places, and that's probably where you're going to see this. Our dreams come alive. Come alive.
You don't have to be a part of the military to access the academy and take either a walking tour or they actually have driving tours as well. But you do have to have a real ID driver's license or a passport. Through highs and lows and every struggle, we scale these walls and jump through hurdles. There's no surrender, no defeat. We will conquer. Go Navy! Beat Army! Even though we spent most of our time since we've been here in Annapolis, we are actually staying at Fort Meade. We are at Camp Fort Meade, which is a military campground. So you do have to have access to the base to make your reservation on this campground, but we have really enjoyed it here. It is super quiet. It is really green and nice. Prices are, these sites start at um, $45 a night for a back end. And if you want to pull through, I think that's like maybe 55 a night. So it's pretty reasonable for this area. There's also a military campground at the Naval Academy so if you want to book something there you can. It is much more difficult to book a campsite there. They stay full all the time because Annapolis is so gorgeous but that is an option for you if you can sneak in there. We are lucky enough to be at the Academy during graduation week. So the energy here is high and you can just feel it. And there are a lot of smiles on a lot of faces as we walk around the grounds. That's because four or five years are about to come to an end <laughs> um, here at the Naval Academy. So it started back in 1845 on 10 acres of land and it, it housed 50 midshipmen yeah. and seven professors. That's how they started. Today, it has expanded to over 338 acres and over 4,000 midshipmen per year. A really cool fact is in 1976, the very first female was admitted to the Naval Academy. I can't even imagine being the first female to walk, walk this campus in a uniform. And today, 20% of the students here are female. We do have an Academy grad in our crew and his name is Bob Dill. He came through here and he played on the 1983 football team as an offensive lineman. And if you've met Bob, he looks like he could still suit up and play for the academy today. What some of you may not know is Phil actually retired from the Navy and I am a Navy veteran. So coming here and seeing all these uniforms, even though we didn't go to school here, it's kind of like our people. That's right. It's, it's a, and it's a big trip down memory lane. I mean, it just seeing the uniforms um, and everybody milling about smartly, it just brings back a ton of memories. And yes, I said milling about smartly. For more information on the military campgrounds, click the link below or head over to our website todayissomeday.net and check out the blogs over there. We've rated the military campgrounds. We've dropped links on how to get to all the military campgrounds. Wealth of information. Head over there or down below and check them out. And we're going to continue to add on to that blog as we stay at more campgrounds. Right. So we're gonna keep updating that as we go. And one more thing we have to let you guys know about, if you've been thinking about joining RV Life Pro oh, or yeah. getting RV Trip Wizard, their price is going up. We think August 1st, I'm not 100% sure, but it is coming with a price increase. So if you wanna lock in the current price 
All you have to do is sign up today and we do have an affiliate link with them that will save you 25%. I will put all the info down below for you so you can check out this bundle that includes like RV maintenance program and RV safe GPS. There's a ton of things that you can use once you sign up for RV Life Pro. Um, we have it, we love it, and we have for a long time. Yeah, that's Stacy's bread and butter. And if you've been following us for any length of time, you know that she does all of our trip planning, our route planning, everything on RV Trip Wizard. So get over there, check it out. Thanks for popping in. Keep watching as we continue up the East Coast and over to Newfoundland. We can't wait to take you along with us.